Democrats on the Senate Budget Committee announcing late Tuesday they've reached an agreement on a massive $3.5 trillion plan to, among other things, address climate change, expand Medicare, and help struggling families for the next decade. Every major program that President Biden has asked for is funded in a robust way. The Democrats acknowledging there's still a long road ahead. The plan is to pass the multi-trillion dollar spending agreement in the Senate using a budgetary tool called reconciliation that requires only 50 votes. It is transformational and frankly, it is exciting. But it's unclear whether the plan has the full backing of moderate and progressive Democrats. The $3.5 trillion agreement is far less than the $6 trillion proposal Senator Bernie Sanders had put on the table. There are 50 Democrats in the caucus I suspect there are 50 different points of view. The Democrats say the spending agreement is fully paid for, though no details have been made available. President Biden pushing for taxing wealthy Americans, making more than $400,000 a year, and corporations to fund his spending priorities. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell promising a showdown. Liberal policies are overspending, overborrowing, and hurting our economy. The reconciliation plan would accompany the much leaner bipartisan bill, which includes traditional infrastructure like roads and bridges. Democrats are trying to pass both through Congress as twin bills, a delicate balance that could risk losing vital GOP support. That bipartisan bill could be introduced this Friday. I make no illusions how challenging this is going to be. And President Biden will meet with Senate Democrats this afternoon to discuss the next steps forward. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.